Glenn Foster from Atrium Investment Management. Welcome. Glenn, can you describe the concept of risk-targeted investing? Yeah, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, so clients come to us with a, with a tolerance for risk and, um, and that might be dependent on their starting capital, their income and, and their other objectives. And uh, risk-targeted investing for us is about maximising return for that level of risk. That means um, when you've got a risk budget, you don't want to waste any of that risk budget on, on risks that won't be sufficiently uh, rewarded. Um, you know, because you know, markets um, you know, will determine the, the return and risk of the assets that you buy. And if you've got two portfolios with similar expected returns, you know, it's rational to take the, the portfolio with less risk. And that's what the risk targeted portfolio is. So really for, for clients, it's a question of having a mindset of risk rather than return. Well, perhaps because um, you know, it, it's not true that um, – uh, return is just a function of the risk you take um, because there are some risks that shouldn't be rewarded, uh, concentration risk, for example. And also risk and return are not static. Um, they depend on the starting valuation of assets. They depend on where you are in, in the cycle. Uh, so you need to be uh, adaptive and, and have a flexible enough mandate to, um, to hedge risks that won't be rewarded and, and to take opportunities uh, where you can. It seems like you're saying that clients and investors should have a risk budget, a bit, or a bit like uh, institutions. How do you get that message across to them? Well, they should have a risk budget, uh, a bit like how you would have a uh, a personal expense budget, because you know, the, the risk of of not following your risk budget is then you end up taking too much risk, uh, and that means you um, you might fail your objectives. You might uh, have to accept a lower uh, standard of living, perhaps, or, or change your plans. Do you find that's a hard concept for mum and dad investors to embrace? It is a hard concept to embrace because in, for investors, you know, all they see is the outcome, the return. That's, that's historical and you can't change that. But as an investor, uh, it's all about looking forward because it's, it's risk that's going to drive the future returns. What about the holdings in your portfolio, a typical portfolio? Uh, can you talk me through that? Yeah, well, most of your uh, return obviously tends to be generated from, from equities, but then you want to diversify that. And traditionally, you would use uh, bonds to diversify, but um, that's not diversified enough. Uh, and, and this year is a case in point. Uh, you want to have other uh, availability of other assets like commodities and uh, loans, private credit, uh, but also strategies that can uh, go short as well as go long. And, you know, that's the key to being genuinely diversified. Can you talk to the concept of preservers, growth drivers and diversifiers, which feature quite uh, strongly in your material? Yeah, so well, growth approach. drivers such as equities, property, as I said, they drive most of your return. Um, then you want to diversify that, diversify your uh, sources of return so that you're not um, taking unwanted risk or too much risk. And diversifiers can, can include other types of uh, assets that have positive returns as well, like, like commodities and property and so on. Um, but then preservers are a, a subset of, of diversifiers which, which tend to um, uh, have positive returns or, or have zero return when equity markets go down. And so that's the thing that really preserves capital and allows you to build wealth uh, over time because you have to hold on to your capital in order to compound returns. Glenn, thanks for talking to us today. Thanks.